Okay, let's get started with the Board of Education. No, not that Board of Education. This Board of Education, the Parallax Propeller Board of Education, of course. And you know what? It's made in the USA. In fact, all of the goodies I got from Parallax for this series are made in the USA. And I think that's a really cool thing. So, let's get started and take a look at what comes in the bag. Okay, let's look in the bag and see just what we've got here. There it is, the Propeller Board of Education. And we're going to be educated. Wow, this is pretty impressive looking. What else is in the package? A couple more items. We have some jumper wires and little rubber feet. I guess they, uh, yeah, it looks like they go in the corners right here. Keep the uh, circuits off from the surface of whatever you set it on. Let's go ahead and put those on right now. We'll get that out of the way because rubber feet are just cool. And we got two, three, and four. Put that over there. And we'll put our jumper wires aside here. All right. Let's zoom in a little bit closer now and talk about some of the features on this board, shall we? For starters, we've got two power supply inputs. We've got a 9-volt battery um, jack right here, a little battery clip. You can actually put a 9-volt battery directly on there. There's also a 2.1-millimeter center positive jack right here. Of course, it has the multi-core propeller microcontroller system. That would be right here. It has a VGA video output port. How about that? That's pretty cool. There's also an electric microphone on board. There's a USB port right here. And the USB port is used to load programs for serial communication over USB. It's for debugging. And also power supply input on USB 2.0, 5 volts up to 450 milliamps. Right here we have a 8 inch stereo output jack. And we move over here to the micro SD socket. That's really cool. You could uh, do some really neat things with that. And then these two sockets right here are for XB digital RF modules. That's way cool. I'd love to try some stuff with the XB. Over here we have a power switch uh, with green LED indicator lights for settings 1 and 2. 0 is off, 1 is system on, and 2 is system and servos on. We'll talk about those servo ports in a minute. Over here we have an analog to digital converter, that little chip right there. And then we have two LED lights right here for the digital to analog yellow LEDs and they vary in brightness with duty modulated digital to analog output voltage. What a mouthful. Over here we have uh, ground digital to analog, analog to digital sockets running along this rail. We have a breadboard with 34 rows of five sockets in two columns. We have uh, propeller I.O. Uh, input output pins right here. 15 of them and then we have a 16 volt supply socket, or I mean a 16 pin supply socket, 3.3 volt and 5 volt on this rail. Over here we have servo ports. There are six ports there. They can be configured, uh, let's see, for supply voltages to 5 volts or voltage in. And let's see what else. There's also 2 by 10 socket access here for other communications. Here is the uh, voltage regulator, switching regulator, 4 through 16 volts. Output is 5 volts. The input is 4 through 16 volts. The output is 5 volts at 3 amps. And we have LED status lights right here. whole bunch of them, all kinds of things. We'll be doing some experiments where we can turn those on and off. And uh, they're on board, so it's pretty easy to learn how to use this thing with the old blinky LED program. That will be one of the first ones that we jump into now. So now let's move on to what you need on your computer to start playing around with the Board of Education. Here we are on the home page for Parallax Incorporated. That's www.parallax.com. Once we get to that home page, we're going to go over here to the Learn link. In this line of links right here, click Learn. 
which takes us to a page with all kinds of information about how to work with Parallax Electronics products. It's called learn.parallax.com. Right at the top of this page is an article written by Andy Lindsay. It's called Get Started with a Propeller Board of Education. Well, I'm pretty much following this as a script for these videos. Uh, and so if you follow along here, it will be a actual written guide with links to the software and other projects that you can click through and follow along. And for video reference, just watch this video all the way through and the series coming up after this. So let's click through to that page. Once we're on this page, we'll see some links down below the picture of the uh, BOE right there. The first thing we need to do, of course, is install software to communicate with the Board of Education. So let's do that. We click through there and you follow the instructions and it takes you to a line that says go to Parallax Propeller Tool. So let's click that. And there we are. We're going through to it and down here in the corner uh, it's downloading the setup propeller tool and it's a zip file and it's about 19 megabytes on my connection this will take a few moments so through the magic of video editing let's jump ahead to the point in time where the zip file has downloaded see it's true you can go into the future on the internet okay let's uh, click that and open it up and it will open up my uh, zip file software I'm gonna extract the whole file right to the desktop. Okay, let's jump to the desktop and open that up. I have way too many things on my desktop. We click the setup propeller.exe and the propeller tool version 1.3 install wizard pops up. And we're gonna follow some instructions in here Pretty simple stuff. And we'll install the complete program. Click through next. This is important right here. Make sure automatically install and update driver is clicked. Little green check mark in there. And we go next. And we install it. there we go we are all set to go okay now that we have the software installed let's go to the start menu programs the parallax ink folder over here to propeller tool and we'll click on propeller tool that launches the program here it's asking you to associate the program with certain file types you click yes and there we go we have the propeller tool open now we also need to open a serial terminal window. So let's go back to programs, parallax, over the propeller tool, parallax serial terminal. You can put uh, shortcuts to this on the desktop if the install program didn't do that for you. So we have those two open. Now when we go back here to the instruction page, it's going to tell us to go ahead and connect the hardware. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I've got a cable that's plugged in to one of my USB ports on my laptop. Here I have the prop BOE and I will plug the cable in. Little blinky lights flashing there. Some communication going on. Uh, now I see a little bubble popped up that said found new hardware USB serial port. So I should be installing the hardware right now. And there we go, your new hardware is installed and ready to use. Okay, now we configure the software. You click the Run menu in the Parallax Propeller tool. Right here, Identify Hardware. And there it is, the propeller was found on COM18. Now we take that information, go to the Parallax Serial terminal window and down here where it says COM port we select COM18. Now we can communicate with the Board of Education. Now that we have established communication with the Board we can move on to our first project 
which is a two LED light control and we can get to that right over here in this corner click two LED light control and up comes the page telling you how to set all of that up so the first thing we need to do is download the two LED control spin code spin code is what works on the propeller microcontroller and lets us do things with it so let's click on that and over here is the propeller spin zip file and now that that's open we'll extract all those files to a folder I'm gonna put them in my hack a week folder in a special place I made for them right here propeller BOE and there we go we have them extracted to that folder and we'll go ahead and open that folder up and there's the uh, prop BOE spin LED program and here are all of the spin programs the blink LED three different blink etc etc so the one we want is the uh, blink light spin the first one we click on that and there it is it's open in the propeller tool now back to the instruction page the LED light control link down here is the next place we go let's click on that and we have a page that tells us about what this code does blink light this basically turns a pin on the uh, propeller on and off it sends a voltage to it of 3.3 volts and then it takes away that voltage you can read more about it in detail here but the IO pins basically allow us to communicate with and do things outside of the hardware on the microcontroller board so we need to put a jumper wire to one of the internal LEDs on the board so that we can have an LED to blink with. We could also build our own external LED circuit and it shows you on here just where to do that. But we're just going to put the jumper wire on and it goes between P9 socket and the H socket. And on the board, that would be right here. This is P9 over here on this rail. And the H socket is right here. There we go. So it goes from P9 to the H socket. Now that is the configuration we need to do the blinking light. Next thing we have to do is get some code on this board. And here we are back in the propeller tool window. We have the blink light program opened up here. Up here in the upper left, we're going to click the run menu and we're going to choose compile current, which means the current code. We're going to compile it into something that the microcontroller can do with it, and then we're going to upload it to the EEPROM, which is right here. That's F11 is a shortcut for that. So we click through on that. You see the lights communicating. That shows serial communication going on, and the code is uploaded and running. You can see the light blinking there. So there it is, the blinking light code on the Prop Board of Education. And now we can move on to other projects and make that light blink in some different ways. How the blinking light program works is the next page in the tutorial and without getting into great detail here and boring you with lots of words, I encourage you to go here and read this page and work with your propeller uh, chip, however it may be configured on a Board of Education or otherwise, and really get into what the code means. It's your first step in grasping how everything works but you'll see that the windows are split up into a pink area and a blue area which is the OBJ and the PUB areas. What those do are these two things. Inside the code we have these object blocks and your program has to tell the propeller tool what object it's going to use so all it takes is a code of block code labeled OBJ and inside this block you give each object uh, a nickname followed by a colon and then the actual file name in quotes then your program will use the object by its nickname so here are the object nicknames pin which is pin output or input output pins that's the file it's going to call up and use in the code so you can make a call to you know the pin hey pin I want you to turn on that's what the the objects are things you can call up and then we get into uh, the PUB section and in your code you can use an object's method like a command by using its nickname then a dot then the method name that's kind of a method call and it'll be referred to as such throughout this tutorial in this example the nickname for the input pin 
is the object is it's pin it's called pin so to call its high method that would be to turn on and have voltage coming out of it high rather than zero no voltage you have to call its high method and pass that to the pin parameter pass it a value of nine so you would use pin dot high uh, parentheses nine parentheses and that's right here that turns on the LED circuit connected to pin nine and then here's the time that it's on that the program then moves on to the next line and pauses for that's 200 uh, milliseconds and then it goes pin low you make the call to pin and tell it to go low turn off so there's the on off on off and this is in the pub area and if we use the repeat command and then indent all of the uh, object names here of what we want to do this section of code will just keep looping and repeating as time goes by so you could have this as the basis for say some device you're building that has a blinky light and as long as the power is on and everything is functioning and running fine this light is blinking away in the background and then the other parts of the processor are open to do all kinds of other things but in one of the eight cogs of the propeller chip this is all happening in a loop so that's a little bit about the programming language like I said dive in here and read and uh, you'll see now what I want to do is move on to one of the other uh, pieces of code in there okay for the light display code we've got the board configured now with jumper wires between all of the pins from 8 to 15 over to some LEDs on the board here and that's the way the code tells us to hook it up because if we read right here in the pub area when it calls pin to run the outs object it's going to do it on pins 15 through 18 it's 15 comma or sorry 8 15 through 8 between those two pins we're going to write a binary value for each one of the pins in between those right here and we can write binary uh, by putting a percent sign followed by the binary number you want so on pin 8 it will make the pin go high on 9 it will be low 10 high 11 low etc etc all the way up to 15 in that order we're calling out all those pins to do that for a time of 400 milliseconds there's the time and pause command 400 milliseconds then it's going to move on to the pin outs and call it on 15 through 18 but this time we're going to write the binary numbers opposite we'll start out with pin 8 off pin 9 on etc pause for 400 and then go back and repeat it again so you get the effect of the lights moving back and forth like well you'll see marching lights let's upload that code with F11 right to the EEPROM and see what kind of results we get there you go marching dancing lights and now you understand what the code does there so that's pretty cool spin can uh, tell multiple pins in one loop just running along what to do well all kinds of other things can be happening and we'll explore that some more with this propeller board of education we're just barely scratching the surface if you want to continue on ahead uh, just go to that learn.parallax.com page and uh, get a board and get on there and get to work and learn all about this a lot of things you can do with the propeller chip and we will be doing it soon so more videos to come in this series and a big thank you to uh, Andy Lindsay for writing up such a wonderful tutorial here on the learn.parallax.com page well that was fun I think we're off to a great start on this series I look forward to more with this propeller board of education so until next time keep on hacking blinky lights